Hey, welcome. Good, happy new year. Welcome to today's webinar, first webinar of the year, 2021. Now, okay, I'm going to launch a poll. Let me launch a poll. Is this your first time with us in this webinar? Okay, do, do put a poll. Yes, I do see some new newcomers here. So let me tell you more about what we do in this webinar. We have a daily webinar where Gene will be walking you through his thoughts and ideas for a very specific currency for each day. Monday, the Aussie and New Zealand. Tuesday, the Euro pairs. Wednesday is the pound. Thursday, yen and gold. Friday, the Canadian dollar. So today is Monday. So Gene will be speaking about the Aussie and New Zealand pairs. You know, as he will be taking us through different time frames, this type webinar is going to be very beneficial to both long-term investors and short-term traders. You know, during this session, Gene will be go through what could move prices, possible trade ideas, highlighting potential targets and risk. However, just remember, any information shared during this session is not intended to be a trade recommendation. It is solely the opinion or the views of the speaker. So please remember to do your own analysis prior to entering any trades. My, hi, my name is Daniel. I have known Gene for many years now, first as a student and now as a business partner. Now, Gene runs LCMS Traders, where training is conducted to get traders to be consistent and profitable. And Forex Briefcase, which is our managed account services, where Gene trades at AUM more than 11 million US dollars on a daily basis. In fact, last year, last year results was more about 24% ROI, which is very fantastic. Now, Gene has been invited to speak on many stages globally. And in fact, one of the reasons why you might be here is because you attended one of his events. But of course, recently, he has also been invited to Money FM, a Singapore financial radio talk show, to give his views on what's happening on the forex market. So now I'm going to issue a second poll and let me know, you know, how did you get to know this webinar here? Okay. Yeah, okay. Let I just launched the poll. Uh, let, do let me just know because it's very important. If you have friends and family who are trading forex, do share with them here. Of course, I would like to take this opportunity to share with you more about LCMS Traders Club while you're doing the poll. Okay. Right. So you can see here the poll. Uh, the, for the poll here, I can see a lot of people are Traders Club members. So this, so for those who are new here, or Telegram channel and other sharing, friends share, this is a private group on Facebook where we teach, guide, signal, coach you to be a better and more profitable trader. This is really the place to be, regardless of whether you're new, experienced, part-time, or full-time trading. You know, if you have joined us on the Telegram channel, you have been enjoying our trade signals absolutely free. A question you might have is that when we have told when to get in the trade, you have not been know where to exit. Now, in the Traders Club, we not only give you the signals earlier than the Telegram channel, we also tell you the strategy behind the signals to actually guide you on where to exit with specific reasons. No. So let's look at here. You can, you can take a look. If you scroll down, we have all, give all the signals here. You can get, for example, we give first gear, buy pound yen at 139.8, give you the stop loss, take profit, one, two, three. And you can see here, we give the analysis, pound yen, why we take the analysis with the chart and where we, we're looking at. TP1, actually before, you know, the last year ending of the year, you know, when he's TP1, we decided to minimize the risk. So we suggest to secure the profits, which means to close off and take the money and enjoy yourself. But of course, we can see it hits TP2 and TP3 much later on, which is very fantastic. So you also, same thing as well here, you get the US CAT on the December 29th, we first issued here. We have a lot of analysis done and as well TP1, TP2, TP3 and where to secure your profits. So that really in the long run, you not only learn from the signals, you also learn how to trade better. Now, if you want to learn new strategies, require some coaching, you know, we also have members only live Zoom sessions on Monday and Wednesday evening to run through trade ideas, teach you new strategies, update you on recent market and economic developments. This is also a part, this really, these lessons here, you know, if I can take a look here to all under the weekly live call with Jin on Monday, you know, we really talk about the economy rounds up last week, what happened, you know, anything to take note of, the signal coaching, here, we will give you why we take the trade, not only the details, we'll give you more details on why we take the trade, why we exit, why we suggested to close at TP1, TP2, or TP3. And lastly, you know, it's a really opportunity to pick Gene's brain on basically anything related to trading. 
you know, where there's a dream group catching, we'll talk about, he can talk about how, where to, uh, looking the week forward, what kind of signal, what kind of uh, uh, things to look out for, what kind of setups to do, you know, we're going to trading psychology and many, many more. Right. So lastly, we also have lots of other things here, wide range of analysis for the club members. We have here the weekly currency uh, correlation. We are every Wednesday, we will do it. Here, we just tell you what is correlated, which pair is correlated and not, so you can do a proper risk management. Here, we also have the uh, daily watch list, you know, where we every morning we will take a look and see what currency pair we have, what actions and what kind of actions to buy or to sell, or entry level and potential profit targets to do it. So really, trading can be very, very lonely, but this close-knit community will be ready to share. Trading can be really enjoyable and profitable. Now you're thinking how you could join here. All you're going to do, the link will be posted on the chat group, the LCMS Traders Club. Go to the LCMS Traders Club, scroll down, and all you got to do is click this USD199 a year. Yes, it is a paid subscription of 199 a year, but really it's less than a dollar a day. Now, you really, if you're facing uncertainty in your trading, taking any risk in your trades, you really need to join this club to get confidence, uh, com guidance towards profit, profitable, and also coaching to improve on your confidence and strategy immediately right now. Okay, so we much a lot of things. So those who have not joined, go ahead and join the LCMS Traders Club. Now I can see Gene is ready, waiting to share with the Aussie and New Zealand uh, dollar. So, okay, Gene, all of yours. All right. Good morning. Happy New Year. Give me a big thumbs up if you're ready and it's going to be a good 2021. Yeah, Lewis has his thumbs up. Good job, Lewis. Well done. Welcome back. All right, who else? Who else is ready to make some money in 2021? I am. I got my hands up. Come on, give me a better reaction than that. That's like 47 of you here. Those of you joining us on Facebook Live in the four day course group, um, the link is there. Please feel free to join us on the Zoom call. You have the chat function here on the Zoom call so you can ask questions. You can see the up the summaries, the write-ups there while I go through the analysis with you. So better, better, better responses from everyone. Let's get started. First currency analysis for the year. Um, we are approaching this within this week. We will hit our 200th free currency analysis that we've been doing every day since well, 299 ones ago, right? 200 ones ago. Um, so super happy about that. With that said, um, let me share this with you. So Traders Club members, Traders Club members, this is up there for you already. Um, support resistance lines. I have just done them. I set, came in, first thing I did was my lines. I've done the lines there. It's going to be there for you. Those of you who um, have done the selfie and done the um, postings on the four-day course group, I will be giving you those lines as well, okay? These are my support resistance lines. I, as I suggest, you know, don't replace your lines, but use it to double-check your existing lines slash areas. Um, so this is going to be there for you to help you from the first day onwards to start trading to, you know, know what the boundaries are, know what you're trying to trade to or trade within. With that, let's look at the news. So as much as it's a new year, as much as we are super excited about, you know, what could be coming around, what we could be trading, um, it is going to be a little bit not as exciting as you would expect. Today, Monday, we are looking, you know, we had some of the Aussie news. We have the Chinese uh, manufacturing PMI numbers come out, still in expansionary phase, but a bit less than previous. You know, that's also one of the reasons why we saw, uh, we didn't see the drop in the Aussie dollar, but we saw a slight move across, possibly some upside coming for the Aussie dollar. So this is thinking about the news previous. And we've seen, you know, over across last year, a lot of US dollar weakness towards the end of the year. Um, we've seen now a lot of 
pound manufacturing PMI numbers coming out today. Um, tomorrow, nothing too exciting again, right? Wednesday, again, some PMI numbers coming from the Eurozone, pound numbers coming from, pound PMI numbers coming out as well. But then pay attention to a Wednesday night, 9.15, ADP non-farm numbers coming out. Um, and then on Thursday morning, 3 a.m. Singapore time, if you're joining us from anywhere around the world, make sure, you know, remember I'm talking about Singapore time, 3 a.m. GMT plus 8, um, FOMC meeting minutes. Give you a bit of hindsight into the decisions they, you know, the thing, the considerations they led up to the decisions for the FOMC. And then after that, the more important one is the ECB monetary policy statement. Um, on Thursday, followed by, where is it? Followed by our favorite non-farm payrolls, non-farm payrolls at 9.30 on Friday night, together with the Canadian employment numbers as well at 9.30. So what you would see here is throughout this whole week, probably not too much happening. Probably not too much happening. Um, I think everyone's going to slowly get back into the grind get back into starting to trade. So take this opportunity, get your analysis right, uh, get off on a fresh footing, um, look at it, put in your lines, look at the trend, decide where you are looking for that, you know, risk rewards, uh, looking for that possible trade ideas, leading all the way up to Friday where we have the non-farm payrolls. At this point, I think non-farm payrolls is probably going to be a bit better than we expected. Um, I think that we're going to see markets continue a bit quiet all the way to Friday. I'll tell you more about the non-farm payrolls on Friday morning. Um, so in the meantime, all the way from now to Friday morning or all the way this year, I hope all of you here, all 50 something of you here would jump onto forextradingasia.com. Jump onto forextradingasia.com go log in, go register for an account, go log in and do your, use this as your base for your analysis where I share with you my views about, you know, where I see the market heading, where I think, you know, Canadian dollar, pound dollar, all that is going to go. We have our team of analysts there. We have all kinds of analysis put together in one place, curated for you to use. Best part is as you read, as you interact on articles, you can redeem, you earn points and you redeem Amazon gift cards as well. So with that said, um, now looking at the charts, this is the Aussie US on the H4 time frame. Aussie US on H4 time frame. I know it's a little bit small. I'll zoom in one more. Okay, looking at it now, um, as we spoke about, as we spoke about it, probably not too much happening this week. Probably not too much happening this week. I do think that we might see it get resisted at this 7730 level. Okay, 7730 level might hold it, but not too long. I don't think it'll hold it for too long. I think we might actually see it sit across before possible further upside. All right, uh, someone just raised their hand. All right, I'll lower your hand for now. Um, you're confusing me. All right, um, so if you see it breaking up above 7730, um, I think it's gonna probably sit, so to be a bit more specific, I think it will sit there like that before possible upward move upwards, okay? Um, I, I see that possibly happening, sitting across at 7730 before possible upside move towards. I don't think it will get there but towards 8045. So look for you know any possible upside move from 7760, maybe a, I don't like that 70 pip. 70 pip stop loss for a 240 pip take profit. That's huge. That is very big. So I would say, you know, keep it a bit tighter. 7750 have a 30, 40 pip stop loss for that upside move, but I don't think it'll go all the way. I think it might be even up to about seven eight five zero so you might have about 100 pip upward move towards that level so 30 pip stop loss 
100 pip take profit, one is to three. Um, I'll be looking for that kind of move. This is also dependent on no big surprising um, news coming out from the US. We don't see any possible changes coming from the Australia side. So only if we see any big surprising news coming from the US. But at this point, I don't think that we're going to see any big surprises. So I think that if it does break above 7730, we could see quite a nice 100, 120 pip move upwards for a 30 pip stop loss. Um, so that's the Aussie dollar, the New Zealand dollar looking at it right now. It seems like it has rejected that 7281 level, it, or it seems like it's trying to reject that 7281 level um, in that area. At this point right now, I think that we might see it come back up and test. Come back up and test this 7281 for a second time. We might see it come back up and test a bit slowly, possibly again, similar to the Aussie dollar, sit across sit across maybe in a slightly upward fashion before trying to test this resistance level again. At this point now, 30 pip stop loss, 60 pip take profit, that might be a trade that you want to get started with. That might be a somewhat easy trade um, you want to get started with as we, you know, to get the gears grinding along. Um, but I would say look only for upside above 72, maybe 7220 to be a bit safer. 7220, 40, 20 pip stop loss, uh, 40 pip take profit, 50 pip take profit. Look for the upside move towards 7281. Okay, so quite straightforward. I don't want to jump into too much details um, at this point because the more I talk, the more you're going to think that there's going to be a lot of trades to jump into. But for this week, what I would think we probably will see is markets um, moving across a little bit more, moving across a little bit more, forming up the trend, forming up some trend, possibly towards that US dollar weakness, continued US dollar weakness. But, you know, I don't think that we're going to see big, massive movements in this first week of the year. With that said as well, um, remember, Traders Club members, to jump onto the call tonight. Tonight we are doing a live call. Um, I'll be doing a week my weekly live call as usual. So remember to jump on tonight. I will be telling you something super exciting about the Traders Club. So make sure you jump onto that. You don't want to miss that call. Um, with that said, I will pass it back to Daniel. Okay, Gene, thank you very much for the Aussie and New Zealand trade ideas. Really, really good. So for those who, I'm going to launch a poll right now. Okay, so let me launch a poll. Let me let us know how do you find uh, all your thoughts of this session. Okay, what do you think about this webinar? So for those who are new here, you know, a recording of this video will be uploaded. Thank you for joining these sessions today, tomorrow. We'll be so tomorrow is a Tuesday. Tuesday we talk about the Euro pair. So don't wait. Don't 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 come late. Come on early. You know we all look forward to see you then tomorrow same time. Bye. Uh, some one minute. It's at eight p.m. But it's uh, for Traders Club members. So make sure you're a Traders Club member. See ya. Bye.